Welcome to the second tutorial. If you haven't checked the first tutorial yet, I highly recommend you to do so because that one is a step-by-step -step tutorial that covers all the basics. If you feel confused at any point, please check the first tutorial. Okay, here are some of the effects we are going to create this time. In this tutorial, we are going to cover more tricks such as duplication, movement, and multiple composition setup to help you utilize more powerful features, and they are very easy to do. First trick is duplication. If I open the app.psd file, you can find a nice image. I got this photo from unsplash.com. I'll put a link to their website. Send them for providing these beautiful images for free. So this is the original image. What I did first is to separate the character and the background in Photoshop. Then in After Effects, I imported the PSD file as a composition. Then I removed the original image since I don't need it. So only leave the character layer and the background layer. I want to create many laser or light in vertical direction and create the parallax effect. But now I just need to create one. And later on, I will show you how easy it is to duplicate them. So I created a solid layer, gave it a white color, masked out the shape of the light, centered the pivot a bit. I want to do a bit color correction so that the light can pop out a bit more. Basically, I made the image darker and gave it a little bit atmosphere. Okay, I'm happy with the result. We take our parallax tool, select the composition in project panel, and hit the confirm button. What will happen is the solid layer we created for light is now linked to the expression. I renamed it light and gave it a bit glow and feather it a bit to get the soft edge. Okay, so here's the cool stuff. I can just duplicate the light without worrying about the Z position. All I need to do is to drag them to the place I want. The layers will automatically offset at save space. I can duplicate as many as I want, and I don't need to set the Z position of the layers. I can also scale the layers to get them visually pleasing. I can give it some camera animation to make it a bit interesting. If I check the Z position of the layers, you can find they are evenly offset based on their index. The distance between the layers is determined by the offset strength we set at the controller layer. You can see how convenient it is to control so many layers. Last thing I did was to use the puppet tool to give the character some wiggle effects to mimic the wind. Then we have it. So here's another example. I have an aircraft image and a background. I duplicate the aircraft in After Effects to get the parallax effect. Except for the camera movement, I also keyframe the layers in Y space so that the aircraft are moving forward. Another example is the boy riding the horse. I keyframe the wind to make it feel like it is flowing. You can not only keyframe X or Y position, you may also rotate the layers or offset the layers. This is a good example. I rotated the circles as it goes. I also keyframe the offset strengths to get the feel that we are going into the space. Last trick I want to show you is a multiple composition setup. Here I got three layouts. I imported them into After Effects. And instead of making the parallax effects 
one by one. I want to set up three scenes at once. All I need to do is to select them together in the projects panel, and then hit the confirm button. You can see if I go into each composition, the layers are already linked to the expression, and they are ready to go. This can save you a lot of time if you have many compositions that need parallax effect. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you got inspired and I wish you the best for your projects. Please feel free to send me a message if you have any questions.